Hey guys and welcome to the TTK tutorial series here on the Coders Legacy channel. In this video we'll take a look at the TTK progress bar, which is one of the six widgets introduced by TTK. Okay, so a progress bar. Everyone knows what that is, okay, and many of you have seen them and what they're used for is basically showing progress. So if something is loading, if some files are transferring, then you want to show progress, right? So what you do is use the progress bar for that. Okay, so in this video, we'll take a look at that and we'll see the different types of progress bars and what you can do with it and how to interact with the progress bar. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. What I'll first do is simply create the progress bar. Okay, I'll call it self.progressbar. Okay, and ttk.progressbar. And I think this is capital, not capital actually, then self.master. And then we have some additional parameters. So the first one is mode, okay? Mode, there are two modes for the progress bar. It can be determinate or indeterminate. And I'll show you what that means very soon. For now, we'll just leave it at determinate, which is the default mode. We also have length, which is basically the width of the progress bar, okay? How wide it is or how long it is, however you want to see it. Then we have maximum, which is basically the maximum value that the progress bar can have, okay? This is basically what you increment, okay? So if you have uh, 200 files, okay, you'll want to keep the maximum at 200. And every time the f one file transfers successfully, you increase the value by one, okay? Other than this, we have orient, which is the orientation of the progress bar. This can be either vertical or horizontal. By default, it's horizontal. And we'll take a look at converting it later, okay? So let's just pack it in so far and just take a look at it and what it looks like, you know? Pad Y is equal to five. All right, now let's run this. Okay, cannot import TTK. All right, sorry about that. That's a slight mistake there. Okay, so this is our progress bar. It looks pretty small right now uh, because the length is pretty small. So there isn't much we can do right now because it's just an empty progress bar. We can't interact with it. So let's go ahead and create some buttons, okay? We'll use these buttons to basically trigger functions for the progress bar. And we'll create TTK buttons because they look nice, okay? So self.master, text is equal to uh, increase, okay? And I'll link this to the self.increase function, which I'll make right now. Okay, and here we go. Increase. And what this is gonna do is for the progress bar, it's gonna call the step function. The step function basically increments or decrements the value of the progress bar, okay? There isn't much point in decrementing it, but you can do that if you want, okay? You can pass in negative values. And by default, the step is 10, okay? So if I don't do anything over here and I run this, it will still increment it. Actually, wait, sorry. Uh, the step is actually one by default, okay? So, so if I change this to like five, you'll notice it increasing a lot faster. Okay, so that's uh, the first function. Let's take a look at some more. Okay, there's, uh, let's just change the length a bit, okay, to 150. Okay, it looks nicer. And by the way, just remember length and maximum are different. So yeah, length basically, uh, it just changes the size, okay? All right, so other than this, we have the indeterminate mode, which I wanna talk about now, okay? And let me show you what this does. The indeterminate mode, as the name suggests, actually, hold on, I didn't create the appropriate function for it. Let me just go and create a new function here and a new button, okay? And this will be called start, okay, and we'll change this to start, 
change this to start and change this to start all right and if i click this now you see it moving okay and that is moving pretty slow right now but i think you already get the point is basically meant to show indeterminate progress, progress that isn't measured, okay? So if you don't know how many files you're transferring, if you don't know how much time it's gonna take for the progress to complete, then you use the indeterminate progress bar. All right, so what you can do to speed up the interval is, sorry, to speed up the indeterminate mode, because I don't like that default speed, you can change the interval over here, okay? So I think the default is 50 or 10, I can't remember which. Uh, so let's just try it out. Okay, so yeah, it, it, it was definitely 50, I think, because 10 is clearly moving faster. 10 is basically 10 milliseconds, okay? So yeah. And what it does is that every 10 milliseconds, it calls the step function and it calls the default version, okay? The default version, which is, you know, just increments by one, okay? So that's what goes on behind the scenes. Other than this, we have the stop function, okay? Which I'm sure you can guess what that does, okay? And by the way, this, these functions, these start and stop functions are also available with determinate mode but I just don't see the point of uh, having start with the d determinant when, you know, it doesn't make sense, okay? Why are you using an auto increment mode with the determinant when you know what the progress is, when you should be manually increasing the progress? So yeah, let's just continue with this. Um, let me stop it, okay? And this, okay? So one more thing I want to do is just align these a bit, by the way, okay, tk.left, all right, all right, okay, so this looks, uh, this looks a bit nicer, so if I do start now, and I do stop, okay, you can see that it stops, all right, now, one more thing, I want to display the progress bar is current value, okay, now, how do I do that? There isn't a function for this, but you can just access its option value, okay? You can access its, uh, you know, attributes, basically. So what you can do is print self.progressbar and like this, okay? And you just print it out. You can use this format to access it as well, so you can change its value as well. So you could, hypothetically speaking, you know, change its value, okay, or, uh, you know, do something with it. And we'll do that in, in a minute. So basically, oh wait, hold on, I need to create a button for that. I want to create a button to, you know, print out its value. So we'll just call it print and link it to the display function and start and we can print out its value, okay? And something to note about the indeterminate mode is that it stacks, okay? It stacks. So if it completes one cycle to you know a maximum value of 100, it doesn't reset to zero, okay? It just continues from there. So basically, its value stacks. So let's just switch back to determinate mode, and I want to discuss some things over here. So let me just show you what it looks like first, okay? Because obviously you can increase it, but then you can also start it, okay? And yeah, basically this is what it looks like in determinate mode. And one more thing. If I click stop here, it resets itself, okay? So what if I don't want to do that? Because personally, it is something I don't like, so I just decided to make some changes to that. I can just save it here first, okay? Save the value, stop it, and then reassign that value to the progress bar. I just thought you, you guys would find this interesting, so, uh, you know, I just thought I'd include it. So if I start it now and I stop it, it stops exactly where I, you know, you know stopped it. And it, it doesn't reset itself, okay? So, yeah, pretty cool. All right, so what else is left? Should I talk about orientation, maybe? We can change the orient to vertical. Okay, and, you know, start it 
everything's everything's the same okay the values won't change anything it's just the orientation that changes all right okay and other than this if there's one more thing i want to mention is that you can change the style if you want to okay so uh, there are two default styles for the progress bar one of them is horizontal dot t progress bar and the other is just you know vertical dot t progress bar and these are used by default okay but i, I want to make a custom style with some custom changes so i'll just say custom dot t progress bar okay and one more thing i want to change the colors on the progress bar but there's a slight issue that for some reason on the windows os at least the progress bar it defaults to its original style you know the windows native style okay so i need to switch to a different theme because the current one being used is like a windows theme vista so i'm going to switch to a different one clam okay and you, you might not you might not face this issue so go ahead and try it out anyways i'm gonna go here actually i'll go here first and assign the style okay i have now uh assigned the style okay to our progress bar and i'll now make some changes i want to basically change the troll color okay and let's make it blue and the background which is the progress okay in the progress bar i'll make that red okay let's see what happens Okay, okay, I need to change the orientation actually. Hmm, horizontal. All right, capital, I guess. Horizontal, okay. We might still face an issue, maybe. Okay, so, okay. I haven't tried this out like this before uh let me just try this hold on all right uh so basically you need to maintain this okay okay you need to basically um, ensure that the default style is there okay and then just append the custom name on top of it okay so just make sure that this is here okay and here we go now the gui looks a bit different because the theme is different so i'll just start it and we'll see okay the background is clearly blue i mean the troll color is blue and the progress is red okay so this is basically how you change the progress bar colors there isn't much more to discuss here so i think we should just end this uh, i hope you guys learned something I, ho I hope you guys learned how to use the you know ttk progress bar and yeah I hope you guys subscribe to the channel because we have a lot more videos coming out on TTK and of course other Python related stuff and even some other stuff like Java and C++ will release content on that eventually. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you later.